The Great Gatsby cost just $2 when it was first published in 1925. Today, a first edition, in mint condition, is valued at $373,000. As interest in owning the first edition book grows, dealers like London-based Stanley Gibbons have launched a prize index for rare books. What we've done is focused on 20th century first editions. The first edition is always key because normally a publishing house has taken a bit of a punt on an author. So the first print run tends to be quite small. And therefore, if they go on to have success, that creates a rarity. Overall, the index has shown 398% growth and an 8.8% annual growth for the last 10 years, sparring other dealers like Goldsboro Books, which sells only fast editions. Anything in the news, if a film comes out, so uh, if a book is made into a film, simultaneously as it's published, that can increase the value of a book because everybody wants to read the book too. Um, books that maybe say something about today or appeal to a, a, an audience, um, those increase in value. And then there's others like Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien, weren't collectible immediately at publication, but now you'd be hard pressed to find a really nice set of first editions. Despite sales of e-books taking over bricks and mortar bookstores, recent studies show that the market is slowing and according to Deloitte, 80% of all book sales in 2015 will be in print. No Mokugu, CCTV.